We on the road. We are on the road. Till May. Till May probably. Don't know for sure, but probably gonna be away from home until potentially mid-May. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes though. Might hit home at some point. We got a week or two off here and there. Might play poker. Might stay with some friends, family, whatever. Might head back to the house. But anyways, the first stop is going to be Neely Henry Lake in Gaston, Alabama. I'm gonna do a little ride around. Gonna grab some places. Gonna look around. Just try to kind of get a feel for the lake. Been there a couple times. Haven't been there since I was probably 17, 18, 19 years old, something like that. So haven't been there in a good little while and never really explored the lake too much in the first place. So we can get over there, do a little bit of riding around, a little bit of graphing, just kind of take a look. Made that on Neely Henry, riding around for a little while. Already dropped a couple dots down for some places I found. Nothing super good yet. Might go fish around shallow just for a minute, try to set the hook on something. But for right now, we're gonna graph, try to find some places I think they'll be in May. So let's keep looking. We're not on a small little local lake now. Yes, we are too. Oh, yeah. It's small and local to somebody. Just ain't local to us. Bright colored worm. Four alt hook. Nice little male bass. Baby bass. That's a male. That ain't no baby. That's a baby. That's a good sized male. But. Beauty. Cute. Beauty. Some scars on them. Back in the truck. Back in the truck. What do we do? We rode around, burned uh, quite a bit of gas, riding and looking. Kind of got a better feel for the lake for sure. Kind of feel like now I know what to look for. Caught one real dang biggin'. And then. Uh, accidentally. Accidentally caught one real dang biggin'. Then caught a little one. And then had a couple of swim jig bites. So uh, that's how it goes. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. We did catch them pretty decent today. I think if we had laid on them, leaned on them, we could have. We pretty much rode around for like five hours straight, just kind of looking. Got going a little in wind everywhere. burn. Got some wind burn. Got some wind in our hair. Had a good time though. Got headed, to see you late. Headed to Pickwick. Headed to Wilson. We have that much longer to go. 158 minutes. 158 minutes. What's going on? If you look right there, there's like a hundred boats on this lake that is, I think it's 12 or 13 miles long. So it's a super small lake. More boats than I've ever seen at a lake this size. I feel like I'm in one of them brand new lakes in Florida somewhere that just get a crazy amount of, of pressure. But for good reason. I believe the world record smallmouth bass was caught right here. And we are the next lake up from Pickwick Lake on Lake Wilson. A lot of people have fished here. A lot of people have smashed them here. The boat pressure out there in the tail race is ridiculous. But we're going to try to get out there and dial something in. I fish in the tail race a little bit. Not a ton. So we're going to try to get out there. Get a little more familiar with it. I do love fishing current. But I usually fish a little bit different style of current than just right out in the middle. Crazy tail race fishing. But we'll get out there and dial something in. Catch the bass or two. Get, get a line pulled on a couple times at least by a big old drum so let me get some baits out is that a pickerel that's like a skipjack skipjack yeah give me your prediction <laughs> we gonna mess around up here in the current for about two hours catch a drum maybe catch a striper run down fish some creeks and bust their hind end so you, catch it? you you might catch a drum yeah Thirty-five feet and seven foot deep. That's what they are. Not the bass. Well, white bass. There's like 20. Look at all those turtles. Midday update. Um, we have tried about every technique known to man. And God has caught one white bass. One white bass. One white bass. Not good. We haven't really found them yet is a problem. We definitely have not found where they are. 
Right now we're just trying to get a daggum bite flipping for largemouth. Even that ain't working, so. Something's gotta give here in a minute, we'll run into one. Dumb bass. Is that a fish? <laughs> Kyle got a fish. Heck yes. Heck yes. We got one. It's really white. You want to get a pick of that, baby? Yep. I don't feel like a big one. You don't feel that big? No. Oh, it's, oh, it's a drone. Yeah, I thought you had a giant small man. Very successful day of organizing rods, not successful day of fishing. Yeah, we didn't catch Jack. And what do we catch? Caught one smallmouth, one white bass, one drum, two hard times. That's about all I know. We do get to watch the sun go down though. What are we doing today? Right now? Give us an intro to today. Today, I don't know what, what we're doing. I'm trying to organize this mess right here before I go to practice. I hate practicing in this type of stuff. Practice is all about trying new things, trying to find an area and trying to find a bait that you have confidence in. And whenever I'm unorganized, it just kind of wears on me in practice. So I really want to get this organized. And then we might go fishing this evening. So we'll just see how it goes. Kyle out here eating applesauce. <clears throat> Whatever you bring on the boat, I'm gonna eat. I don't care what it is. Where are we at? Wilson. What are we doing? Fishing. There's like six of them under there. <laughs> I might be good. Maybe. Pretty one. It's bad news. What'd you catch one? Quarter ounce low punisher. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty one. Pretty one. Splash myself with that one. He's a little meaty one. Look at him. Hey, he's built like a square. He really is. Like a little sore. What do you mean? You're basically not fishing it to catch fish. You're just fishing no, I am. They get it about half the time. Beautiful. It's awesome. Look at how stout they are, dude. They're just all so fat. That's why these fish up here weigh so much. Because they are thick little buggers, I'm telling you right now. I've had two now come up on it and not get it. That means wrong color. That one got it.
I'd say that one got it. What would you say? He slipped out of my hands. I wasn't trying to throw him back like that. God, freaking big. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a four or five pounder. It was like it was like it wasn't a five. It was a four, three and a half, four. I had a four back there. Uh, I had a three and a half or so back there. Bike too. Digging on the ace. That's a big one, dude. Look at where that hook is. Through the meat. Let's look at him. Freaking big one. What y'all got on the ace? A big one. Big one. Daggum big one. Oh, lips. That's a good one. All right, so that was us riding around, getting ready for Pickwick Lake Elite Series event. If you want to check out the Pickwick Lake video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn the alerts on so you don't miss it. Me and Hunter had a good time, though, riding around. I think we went to, like, three different lakes on the way to Pickwick. Had a good time. We're going to be on the road for a while, posting a ton of videos, trying to get everything smooth and going and catching a bunch of different bass from a bunch of different lakes. So we appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks, guys.